Hey guys, welcome to another exciting announcement for Forge to Fight. We have Prime Conflicts. Optimus Prime finds himself stolen out of time and space, floating in a dead universe. Hint, hint. He must face off against his darkest reflections and be judged by the universe it itself if he ever hopes to return. Will Optimus keep his spark lit, or is it about to be snuffed in Prime Conflicts? Starts tomorrow, all the way till March 25th. And if you guys... I, I don't really go in here too often, but... I probably should. Kabam Pinwheel did drop this little thing that tier 5 basic essence is going to be in the new spotlight, time slide, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically it's going to be in there now. I'm assuming only in prime difficulty. So yeah, we'll be able to rack up some of this stuff. I was actually thinking about joining like an active alliance again and, uh, you know, trying to get some essence try to score you know some of those top spots get those top milestones for alliance missions but i mean it's going to be in in the uh the prime difficulty uh time slide but so i mean yeah i'll just get it from there basically so cool glad they're adding that there and then he also came in here really quick uh where is it under feedback and suggestions he actually wrote quite a long thing and i was actually surprised i don't think i've ever seen anyone from kabam write anything like <laughs> this much <laughs> as you guys can see uh i think this was in regards to like issues with the game like bugs and all these things so i'll just really quickly go through this he says so hey y'all wanted to make to take a moment to respond to this conversation i apologize missing it at the time i have said several times and this is not meant as a dig at anyone but more as an attempt to show some level of consistency on this point that we will always aim to provide accurate and timely information, but accuracy takes place over time, timeliness. I've also said that game development is a notoriously fickle thing with regards to schedules and scheduling, meaning things take time and often more uh, time than you would like or really have. <clears throat> as much as I would love for us to be able to snap our fingers and have the game running completely error-free, like seriously, that'd be sweet, superpower, it could fix a ton of stuff that way, but I digress. The reality is that fixing bugs is a often and is a often a long and arduous process of hunting through a pile of needles inside of a haystack to find one specific needle. If you'll excuse the incredibly overplayed metaphor, part of the 8.5.1 update was putting in place additional tools to make it easier for us to hunt down and correct these errors. But again, even with these tools in place, this takes time. So things take time. You might say that is obvious. You might then reply. And this is true, but I wanted to really emphasize that point so you understand why there has been a lack of news. The news is, and for now continues to be, no new news, but we'll let you know as soon as we have stuff to share. I will certainly put my hand up and acknowledge that I could have been here saying that more frequently. So for that part, I am absolutely sorry. But for everything else, I would ask for and indeed thank you for your continuing patience. The team is doing cool stuff. Cool stuff. <clears throat> hopefully for this game <laughs> i'm gonna add my two cents in there i know it may seem like we are overemphasizing rank six but that's because it's a big deal and we hope y'all are as excited as we are okay so this little sentence here gives us some hope our excitement for rank six and how much we want to talk about them does not impact or diminish our commitment to continuing to try and fix errors for the game though it's just the honest truth that continuing to work on bug fixes doesn't keep people uh, people's attention and would seemingly get repetitive. But despite the repetition, I'll make sure to do a better job in the future to make y'all feel heard, even if I don't have anything to pass along to y'all in that moment. So, um, yeah, uh, it really helps if we continue to submit tickets for anyone that has issues. Um, <laughs> man, I type a lot. Honestly, <clears throat> kabam pinwheel this is like the most anyone from kabam has interacted with uh with the community for forge to fight so thank you for giving us this and honestly this gives me a little bit of hope the team is doing cool stuff uh, hopefully you know like i said it's a change in pace change in direction for this game maybe they're ironing they're you know iron ironing out all the bugs uh, before they start implementing content, maybe. Uh, but yeah, you know, we've been waiting a long time. A lot of us here that watch, you know, my videos that play this game, we've been waiting a really long time for actual content. So, I don't know. I don't know if uh, 
the anniversary update hopefully it lives up to um uh, I, I was gonna say hype, but there's been like absolutely no hype. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks we get some hints here and there. But I don't know. It looks like rank six bots are gonna be pretty important. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess we'll we'll find out, guys. But mm, let's see, communication a good thing. Yep, lack of communication. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> Ah, yes. Dino asking the good question. Can you tell us which exact issues Kabam is working on? Which ones are priority? But he says he can't. The problem is team may be working on one thing one day and then discovers that something else needs to be fixed first because the system is reliant on that second. Okay. Um, so yeah, he can't really tell us what's going on or what they're fixing, but honestly, him just talking to us and giving us, you know, as a community, some sort of feedback from his part i think that's really good so kabam pinwheel thank you uh we i think most of us are just anxiously patiently waiting for this new anniversary update and hopefully hopefully this thing over here um lives up to the little hype that i gave everybody over here in the announcements back in at the end of december from mr mito mito there's a lot to be coming. There's a lot to be excited for in the coming months of Forge to Fight. Uh, so yeah, let's hopefully we get some news on this soon, guys. But yeah, I just wanted to share that as well from Kabam Pinwheel. And of course, we have that new Spotlight time slide come dropping tomorrow. So yeah, make sure you guys do the Prime difficulty because we will be able to get some Tier 5 basic essence in there. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, thanks guys, have a good one, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. We will complete that difficulty, so yeah, have a good one guys, later.